today I'll be sharing with you a message that will inspire you and I believe that it will be a blessing to you. I just titled it Such As I Have, Such As I Have. I'll be sharing with you from Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. Acts chapter 3 verse 1 to 9 and I'll read. Acts chapter 3 verse 1. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the night hour and a certain man named from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gates of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that enter into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to enter into the temple, asked an arm. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. Verse 5 And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Then Peter now responded, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. What an inspiring story. Of what happened in the scripture after Jesus ascended to heaven Jesus gave gifts to men why Jesus was still on earth Peter denied Jesus three times he was weak after Jesus resurrected from the dead he now empowered you as a Christian to go forth and bear fruits Peter had been going to this temple for many many years the Bible said the the lame man was kept there daily but on this particular day, he was expecting to receive something from Peter. Even though Peter had denied Jesus before, he was weak. But the Bible day said, but the Bible said, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, the Holy Ghost came upon them, and that Holy Ghost empowered them. On this particular day, Peter saw this man and said, Look at me. He now says, Silver and gold have I none, such as I have given unto thee. The Bible recorded that Peter took the hand of the lame man and he stood up and his ankle received strength. Power went into his body. Power went through Peter's hand into the body of the lame man and he received strength. For every believer who is born again, spirit filled, there is something inside of you. It doesn't matter how the people will look at you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. There is something spectacular about you. There is something divine inside of you. Have you discovered what you have? Have you discovered what Jesus gave to you? The Bible says you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. That is Acts chapter 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. All you need is the indwelling presence of the Holy Ghost. And the power of God is deposited into your spirit. You become a supernatural being. You are no longer an ordinary person. What do you have? Let's just look at a few things that you have. Number one, you have faith. All you need is faith. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, it says, God has dealt with every man the measure of faith. You have faith. If you are born again, God has already put faith in you. You don't need to pray for faith. Faith is inside of you. It's already wrapped up inside of you. It is that faith that you need to perform miracle in your life. It is that faith that you need to receive miracle from God. It is that faith that you need to move from one level of glory to another level of glory. It is that faith that you need for total protection. It is that faith that makes you more than conqueror. Number two, you have God's ability in you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. We are talking of what you have inside of you. You may not know what you have inside of you, but there is something spectacular about you. There's something divine inside of you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Glory to God. God's power is working in us. You might just get born again today. Immediately you get born again, God's power is working through you. You are no longer an ordinary person. You are a channel of blessing to the world. You can no longer be hindered. You can no longer be limited by the devil. Because God's power is at work in you. He can do great things through you. According to his power that is at work in us. That means inside of you, God's power.
to perform the miraculous is inside of you. You are no longer an ordinary person. You are no longer someone that goes to church and be warming the benches and be sitting down. You are not the distributor of the miracle of God. You are not the distributor of the power of God because power of God is channeled through you. There is something inside of you that allows the power of God to go through you. That was what happened when Peter said, such as I have, he knew what he had. What do you have? You have something. You are not an ordinary person. Number three, you have the Holy Spirit. Let us look at 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Bible tells us that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. If you are a child of God born filled with the Holy Spirit, greater is he that is in you. What is inside of you is greater than you can imagine. Who is he that is inside of you? Is the pa is Papa God, the Holy Ghost, the Word of God and Christ. They live inside of you. They are bigger than any problem. They are bigger than any challenges that you might face. They are bigger than your enemies. Your enemies, they are not a factor. Because greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world. He says, ye are of God, little children. That means you hear from God. You come from God. God has given birth to you. You are a child of God. He now said, not only God has given birth to you, but greater is he that is inside of you. God has now made your body his home. He lives inside of you. There's something spectacular, something divine inside of you. Then you have the name of Jesus. Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, in John 14, 13. He said, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. You have the name of Jesus inside of you. You have unlimited ability inside of you. That power God has given to you to go forth and bear fruit. You are no longer the one looking for prayers. You are no longer looking for deliverance. You are no longer looking for miracle. The name of Jesus is miracle. It's inside of you. That name of Jesus can destroy any barrier. It can remove any sickness. It can remove anything that can limit you. You are the one that can go out there and bring expression to Jesus. Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so I sent you. In other words, God's ability, God's and wisdom has been impacted into you as a child of God. Chapter 1 verse 27. He said, Christ in me, the hope of glory. He didn't say Christ in heaven. Because when Jesus died, he left Christ with us. Today, rise up. Shake that feeling out of you. Whatever challenge you are facing, know that there's something divine inside of you. There's something glorious inside of you. And I speak to you today. That you will acknowledge that Christ in you is the hope of glory. That you will acknowledge that ye are of God and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want you to acknowledge and accept the fact that God's ability is inside of you because he can do exceedingly abundantly above that which we hope or think about through God's power that is at work in us. Amen. God bless you. Keep living in victory. This has been Pastor Ambrose with Victorious Living. I love you. Jesus loves you most. He gave you something spectacular. And that thing is inside of you. Go and tell the world, such as I have. And let them see the glory of God in, through, and with you. Go and tell the world that he lives in you. Be bold to announce it. Because it is written, if God be for us, who can be against us? Go and shine. Go and show the power of God by winning souls, by doing great things. It's only those who are born again that have this ability. If you are listening to me today and you have not received Christ, let me give you an opportunity to receive Christ. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, ye shall be saved. That's all you need to receive this glorious ability in you. So I want you to pray. Are you ready? Let us pray. Repeat after me. Oh Lord God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for sending Jesus to give me a glorious ability and to give me a new life. Today I confess that Jesus is the Lord of my life. And I believe that God has raised him from the dead for my justification. I receive eternal life into my spirit. Thank you for giving me a new life. A life that's full of your ability. I receive the Holy Spirit into my spirit. 
I receive everlasting life into my spirit. Thank you because I'm now born again. If you have prayed that simple prayer, congratulations. That's all it takes. You are now born again and you have something glorious. Aren't you glad you are born again? Until next time, keep living in victory because now ye are of God and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you most. Bye.